So, um, hey, hey, y'all. Hey How's it going? <laughs> um, we're back, back with another video. Finally, how's 2020 going for you? It's been a weird year. It's been a weird year. We're trying to make the best of it at this point, and we just decided videos are still what we want to do. We just got to switch up the format a little bit. Yeah, since everything is so different now. <laughs> uh, but I miss it. Like, this is a weird feeling, but I miss y'all. I miss this. All right. Um, so, like I said, since we are switching up the format, we still want to do food videos. We still want to show you guys things we eat, things we like to do, just things we enjoy around our city, especially. But we want to be safe while doing it. So, instead of going out, today we're going to be doing kind of like a mukbang style video where we're in the house and we're going to be eating something and showing that to you guys instead. I guess it's going to come eventually. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> videos are going to come for us eventually because just like eating and making YouTube videos, mukbangs kind of come hand in hand. And since quarantine is what's really going on, most people are trying to stay safe, social distance, all of those good things. Um, it was eventually just kind of going to come to this. I mean, we love food, y'all. <laughs> so, That's a given. Yeah, so like we said, um, we ended up actually doing something that we're going to do at home. Um, recently, if you guys follow Jesus and Miro, there was actually a collab they did with an ice cream shop in New York called Odd Fellows, and they have six different pints of ice cream, and we actually ordered it, we got it, and it all came. Six. It's here. Wow. It's here. And we're going to try all six flavors of ice cream. <laughs> we're going to break them down for you, see how they taste, because they're weird, they're interesting i've never heard of ice cream yeah. flavors like this and i love ice cream yeah they're super fun super creative um of course it is as Jesus and Mira are known as the bodega boys it's kind of like an old tribute to all the essential things that you could probably get in a bodega so we in atlanta but i guess we're gonna take a little trip to new york right now um and just kind of see what yeah. this is gonna be like so yeah we're just gonna kind of crack into this box and we'll show you guys what's up all right, so let's go. Stupid. Like I said, we got all of this stuff. It came it came in a box, basically. It came one day shipping, basically. So as soon as it shipped, it was at our house the next day, and it was packed with dry ice, so it didn't melt. It came straight from New York. And it just came with a couple of things, like a scratch off, some stickers. Ooh, that was an accident. Some stickers. Then we got picture of the place that might actually be odd fellows looks like a bodega maybe it's just a bodega yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it's a picture of odd fellows i think it's a picture of a bodega see look at me y'all i don't know what i'll be talking about <laughs> it's just a bodega and then we got uh, a note from Jesus and miro stay safe <laughs> but definitely stay safe and you see they gave us some um lactate for all those people you know that are lactose intolerant especially people like Jesus. he always say before he <laughs> eats some cheese or some ice cream you know he gotta crack it open and shout out to our boy blake on these characters it's also the same artist that did our characters and we love blake super dope artist shout out to blake man so we're just gonna get into these flavors i guess um like we said it's six different flavors I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't even know which one to start with. They I all don't. sound so good. Um, shouts out to Jesus and Miro. And shouts out to Blake. Shouts out to Odd Fellows. Just shouts out to everybody. And please, for real. if you enjoy this video, if you want to see us do more videos like this, please go down below. Click like. Click subscribe. Show your friends. Please show everybody about it. We're coming back. We're making more videos. We're finally back, y'all. Oh my god. Y'all asked for this. So many people asked me for this. And like I said, I really do miss y'all. But we're back. So y'all really better do this. If y'all really want to see us do more and more videos, please go down and like this video. And please just share it with somebody if you can. It's it's how you show YouTube that you actually want us to keep doing this. And it's how you show other creators. This is how you get our videos to pop up. If you don't like the video, nobody knows about us. It'll just be you. And I mean, I mean, that's cool. But I want to show everybody the food, you know, that way everybody can go eat the food and then we can get better food in Atlanta and we can just keep growing and building and doing and everything. So let's go. Let's crack into these ice creams, y'all. So, um, I say just random. Just go in there random. Click random one. I can't click it. It's real life. <laughs> um, all right. Chico stick. We're going to start with the Chico stick. So I guess that's see. a good way to start. All right. So we're starting with the Chico stick. What's in the Chico stick? It just um, says French ice cream. Um, let me see if there's anything in No, there's a, we have an ingredient list. Oh, that's true. 
moments later. So, um, Chico Sticks is a peanut butter ice cream and it has shaved coconut uh, candy crunch. Mm -hmm. It does contain coconut, dairy, egg, peanut. So, of course, if you're vegan, have a peanut allergy, sorry, this isn't the one for you, but I don't have none of those issues. So, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I'm ready to eat ice cream, y'all. Me too. And it's like the perfect, you know, it's not hard. <laughs> you can't eat no too hard ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Boom, ice cream, ice cream. Ooh, what it tastes like? Like a Chico stick. Ooh. But. Oh. Oh. It tastes like a Chico stick, but something just happened, I feel. Oh, it's just a coconut. I was like, what is that texture? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's so peanut buttery. No, it is. It tastes like a, um, it does taste like a Chico stick, but it kind of reminds me of a Nutter Butter. Like if you just had Nutter Butter ice cream, this is really good. Let me see. Let's do this. Let's rate these. Let's rate these on a one to 10 scale. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, I don't really have anywhere to go with this right now, so I'm gonna say five. Let's not even do this on the one to 10 scale. We're just gonna do them in order from best to worst. Right now, this is a strong like in the middle for me. So we're just gonna put this one in the middle. Yeah, that's what I just say. I'm just gonna give it, I guess, a five. That's the middle. Oh, Sit I mean, up. well, <laughs> it's six of them. So we'll just give it, it. It just sits in the middle. It's like a three right now. We'll see how we feel about it. It's in the middle. Yeah, it's cool. Out of all six of them, it sits in the middle right now. It's a three. It, they did. They did. Of course, like they achieved their goal. Like it is a good flavor, y'all. I'm sorry if I'm not acting like super excited. It does take like exactly like Chico stick. It does have the coconut shavings. Um, oh, they did exactly no, what they were supposed no. to do. Oh, good, so, good job. Oh my God. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All, All right, right, pick one. I'm a big one now. Um, like I said, we're doing this at random. So let's see. I'm going to go with the Schwan and it is host of cupcakes. Mm -hmm. What's in the host of cupcakes? Um, okay. Got so, host of cupcakes, y'all. Yeah. Host of cupcakes is a chocolate infused sweet cream base with chunks of homemade chocolate cake and a liquid nitrogen frozen whipped cream. Ooh. Contains dairy egg gluten. Ooh. It does so, sound pretty good, y'all. Yeah. Host of cupcakes. Look at that. Host of cupcakes. Let's it does look out. good. All right. Let's try this one out. Perfect. Let's see. Ooh. That was smooth. Oh, that's smooth. It's like a mousse. Well, they did say that uh, whipped cream situation was going on. Oh, that whipped cream. Mm -hmm. That whipped cream came through on the end now, okay? But This is really light. Yeah, I was going to say, but it's not really giving me, you know, like the... It gives you host of, it, uh, like a hostess cupcake, but it's like, if you don't like chocolate too much, this is perfect. Cause yeah. it's not like that deep, like, oh, this tastes like chocolate and it's killing me. It's not flavor. very rich at all. Oh, okay, wait, but I do see a piece of cake. I want that one, let me see. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> There's a, like a lot of whipped cream, a lot of chocolate pieces. Mm, okay, wait, 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 wait. When you get the pieces of the chocolate cake, it does very much give you the hostess cupcake you know, I stopped at the gas station for a quick second and, um, you know, you just got a chocolate craving. Maybe you really, really got the munchies. I'm going to say this is not as good as the Chico stick, though. I do agree. I will say I agree. So right now, I would give this right below the Chico stick. So if we're rating these, this will be one down below that. But what I do really like about that one is <laughs> the mo the texture. I like the moussiness. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I can agree. I can agree. It's oh, not a bad ice cream one. at all, but these are both good. That's what I'm saying. This isn't necessarily like a just the worst to worst type of situation. No, not at all. These are all good. It's just like, which one is the best of the best? It's really just like, which one you like? That's what it's really like. I like ice cream. <laughs> I do. All, all right. right. My turn. Next. Nina's going to pick another one. Kat, what you going to pick? Let's just go the opposite of what you grabbed last time. So, oh. <laughs> the one I said sound nasty. <laughs> the Bodega Counter Crunch. Let's see what Bodega Counter Crunch tastes like, y'all. I hope they nasty. <laughs> Bodega Counter Crunch, that BCC. I thought it was going to be BBC. I'm going to say, you think that sound nasty, too. <laughs> you don't want that BBC in the morning? I mean, depends on who you ask. <laughs> um, look at that. Look at that. Let me see that one. 
And this is the breakfast counter crunch. And what is in the bodega. breakfast counter crunch? Oh, the bodega counter crunch. You, you mix this stuff one? up. Um, let me tell you. So in the bodega counter crunch, there is a light caramel cream ice cream with chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, I love that. Honey roasted peanuts and crushed homemade butter crunch cookies. Almond, dairy, egg, gluten. That sounds delicious. That sounds like all the stuff mm. I like. I have a... I have... If you want to know one thing about me, I love the sweet and salty combo together. I am one of those people. It's one of the greatest things that you could ever do. Two cravings in one, two birds on a stone. Mm, Give it to that? me. What was that? Okay. What you say was that here? Uh, chocolate covered pretzels. Honey. That was that peanut butter cookie. Mm. So the first bite I got, I got some of the, the pretzel. And the pretzel is good. It's kind of salty, but that cookie... That peanut butter cookie really set it off. I like that more than the Hostess cupcakes, but I still don't like it as much as the Chico stick. Really? I like the Chico stick. I don't like that better. But if you like that one more than the Chico stick, I can let you have it because I could see us finishing that quicker than I could see us finishing the Chico stick. If I had to pick one for both of us to eat together, I know we would pick that one first. Y'all. These are good ice creams, y'all. No, this is really good. Like, yeah. I will let them, I will let this one um firm up a little bit, of course, but oh yeah, so all far, of the ice creams are like really light. Yeah, so far this is this is the one for me for that that salty sweet type situation. If this is what's on the counter at a bodega, like if it just stuck there from people being nasty, I'm be at the bodega counter like this I might lick boy, it because that shit lit. I might lick the counter. It's good. Mm -hmm. I want to know what Jesus and Mero favorite flavors was. Somebody send this to Jesus or Mero and let them know. I want to know what they, they favorite. I'll lick the like. counter. Uh, pre COVID, but I'll lick it though. Pre COVID, she licking the counter. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that right now. But if this if this is what stuck to the counter. So you giving that one above Chico stick? Yeah, for sure. All right, all right. I can agree with that. I, I really like this. It's cool. All right, y'all. So now we're gonna move on to the next flavor. Um. I'm gonna go with this guy in the back and just finish off the back side over here. Hmm. And this flavor, back side. sweet tea and lemonade. My boy Arnold Palmer. I was about to say, as we call it in the South, for Arnold Palmer. But okay. you know, we got sweet tea and lemonade. And what's I'm in this saying, one? But right now we in New York. Okay, we got the yetters on. Um, let me tell you. <laughs> um, sweet tea and lemonade is an oh okay is a non dairy sorbet that is the perfect mix of sweet tea sorbet and fresh squeezed lemon sorbet lemonade sorbet. Look at that. So finally, it rolled on the spoon. Um, it only contains lemon. If you're vegan, gluten free, all of those things, this one can work for you. And I do. I, I think. I think I appreciate it being a sorbet better one because yes, I love variety. Okay, baby, you like food, you like variety, and I like that. Um, but it just sounds like a better idea. Uh, Arnold Palmer sorbet, like yes, give me fancy, give me, give me okay. good classic. Okay, so there are two different layers in that. And the first spoon, it is the tea. first spoonful didn't do it for me because the first spoonful is mostly tea, but on the second spoonful I got a lot of lemon and mixing those together, that's my favorite one so far. No, I, I really like an Arnold. This Palmer. is really good. I really like an Arnold Palmer, and since like if you can look look into it, it is a brown layer and then there's a white layer, and the white layer is the <laughs> is the lemonade. I was about to say the vanilla. Let's see. Yeah, like get into those two layers. Of course, that's the sweet tea, and then the lemonade. Of course, is the white looking situation. Y'all, it's really, really good. My boy Arnold Palmer ain't never made no ice cream. Oh, he never did it. Okay, um, I am about to throw a shot. Chick -fil -A. I feel like thank yeah, bro, no, that's not what I was about to say. That's but I am about to throw I, a shot. I was stop me, supporting y'all again. I am about to throw a shot. I was gonna say something about Chick Fil A, but not that. This is what Chick Fil A thinks that they're doing with the frosted lemonade. Like I feel like that's what everyone expected, but that's not what we got. Because that's not a sorbet, though. I mean, no, it's not a sorbet, but that's my favorite. We ate so much of it already. No, this is this is, and I told y'all I don't like tea, so but like it doesn't give like it gives you that, but it's not overwhelming. This is good, y'all. I'm enjoying myself. This is the greatest this, way to this spend. This is really great. This was the greatest way to spend uh, a Sunday night, but also a um, hundred and something dollars. Um, so the ice cream costs like 
70 something dollars plus tax and then there was 40 dollars shipping so this came to like a hundred and something dollars so please watch this video no but like it's definitely worth it and like he gets six flavors and they're all a pint like come on yeah but that's what i'm saying like yeah if you eat ice cream all the time and you really don't mind spending and like i understood like i wanted the ice cream the shipping was just an extra cost i don't care this is really good no yeah like really like like I know we already said this a couple times, but like big shout out to Jesus Mira. Like this is really fire. This is fire as fuck. All right, we got two more flavors, and then after those two flavors, we're gonna do our scratch off, and we're gonna see what we want, y'all. Cause I really want to know. Like, I'm trying to say, did I, I like, win something? <laughs> I need like a million dollars. Did I win something? I don't think you could win that, but you could win. Oh. You could win Showtime. You can get discount on your Showtime. You can oh. see them shows, and then you could get ten percent off of an Odd Fellows purchase if you buy something in the store or online, I believe. Cool. Or you can get a free six pack. Free, free six pack. I can get a six pack. Come on, bro. Cream, y'all. They know me. If I win that one, I'm a, I'm gonna get the exact same one if I can. We might do a giveaway. Oh, we could do a giveaway. If we get the same six pints again, I'll do a giveaway. If we win the free six pints, y'all, so I give it to somebody I know. Not for real. Let's cool. make somebody else's day. Whoever likes, comments, and shares this video and show it to me on Instagram, I guess. If we win the ice cream, you can have it. Facts. Boom. All right, so let's try one more flavor. Or right, let's try our next flavor, not one more flavor. <laughs> one we got more. two I'm more saying, flavors. No, baby, I'm gonna finish this. All right. Well, let's just go. It doesn't really matter. Bacon, egg, and cheese. I really, <laughs> I need to know. This is this is my highly anticipated flavor right here. This is the highly anticipated one for me because, baby, if <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese. What's in it? And ice cream. What's in it? Oh, what's oh, in it? Let me tell you, because I'm ready to know. Because I wanna, I wanna bite it. Bacon, egg, and cheese is a small. Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's a, a small. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> bacon, egg, and cheese is a smoked cream. A, yeah, I can't talk. She's I'm so excited. Cream, <laughs> she done smoked the cream. Shut up. Smoked cream. Shut up. Bacon, egg, and cheese is a smoked cream ice cream with candied bacon, whipped cream cheese, and candied egg yolks. Oh, that's funny. We just had a um, pizza the other day with candied bacon on it. We did. It's delicious. That's, that's one of my favorite ice creams. I mean, uh, pizzas. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite pizza ice creams, y'all. I can see the bacon and stuff in there. Ah, and the yolk. Ah, give it to oh, me. Oh, yeah, it got candied egg yolk in it. I want to try that. Y'all, <laughs> I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even take no big bite, y'all. This is a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. You look real good right now. Thank you. But, <laughs> y'all, this bacon, egg, and cheese, babe, please taste this. This is, this is phenomenal. Weezy F baby in the F is for phenomenal. Facts. <laughs> Facts. That shit wild. Mm. Mm. Who said you can't eat ice cream for breakfast? They're lying. Bacon, egg, and cheese. And and like yeah, that sounds so wild as an ice cream, right? Okay, so okay, mm, that candy bacon. Like it's so porky, but not in a bad way. But you mm -hmm. can put bacon on anything, like that ass. Okay, I'm gonna say this. Who, am I from New York? This is my second favorite. I'm still liking the sweet tea and lemonade more. For real? Nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cause I. Okay, let's say this. This will be in first place just because it's actually ice cream. Yeah. I think, I mean, I just, I'm so amazed. Like, this could have went so wrong. <laughs> this could have went so, so wrong. Amazed. But it is so good, and it's still so simple, but like. Sensational. <laughs> precisely. <laughs> no, like, this, this, this is that guy. This is that guy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whose man's is this? Yours. I like it. That's your it, it sure is. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck this up. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this up. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the other thing. Um, so we we already know, like, we about to have six pints of ice cream in the freezer. Whew. And we done already basically opened all of them, and it's real hard not to finish something once you open it, y'all. Alright, we gotta finish this next one. Put that down. I can't stop eating it. It's so damn good. It's real porky though, like she said. Like it's not real porky. Like the ice cream don't taste like pork no. at all, y'all. Like the ice cream isn't like drowning in pork flavor or anything. It's the little pieces of bacon. Like once you get it and you taste it, it tastes really good. Oh, it's so good. Be oh, look, I just, I, ooh, all right. that's good. And then we have our last flavor, the last but not the leastest, 
We got our budget breakfast. Broke boy breakfast. Budget breakfast, as in, you know, I can't afford a lot right now, but I'm trying to eat some. What y'all got? I got five dollars, bro. So what's in the budget breakfast? Um, so the budget breakfast has uh, it's a honey ice cream with chunks of homemade honey bun cake and coffee soil. Coffee soil. What that mean? What coffee soil? It's coffee soil. What that mean? <laughs> Google it. Google the coffee, coffee soil. soil. Just Google it. See what. Oh, we got almonds in it. Google, I love almonds. Google coffee soil. Okay, okay. She do love her almond. I love her almond. That's why her head shaped like that. That's why my head shaped like that. Why she love yeah. me? Look at my head. Oh, it's shaped okay, like yeah. an almond. <laughs> why y'all think she like me so much? What? No, no, no. Number what one. Is coffee. Oh. Number one. Oh. Number one. I'm gonna eat this whole thing tonight. Who gonna stop me? I think it's just legitimately edible soil, but like that's used. For coffee beans. Okay, wait, because you're getting real happy. Let me let me see. You're getting real happy. It looks very nice. It looks like number a one. I like that. That's just like a milkshake that's already been blended and it got put back into a carton. And now you're just eating a milkshake out of an ice cream pint. So many things just happen. Cause it's it wasn't it, it was exactly it's like a milkshake, bun. and then it, it's oh. soft. It's chewy. It's chocolate. I don't even know if it got chocolate in it, and it tastes like chocolate. And I love coffee, y'all. That like that's my Either. that's my addiction. I don't talk about enough, y'all. I like coffee, and I don't need old man. cream. I don't need sugar. I drink espresso. I drink it straight. I like coffee. Yeah, that's giving me straight espresso. This is delicious. That and it really is good though. Like I don't know really what coffee soil is. I eat it. I didn't know you I mean, made I honey bun and ice cream. It's a little salty. No, yeah, like it has because it has the bitterness from from the coffee soil. Because the coffee soil is real strong, y'all. It do just taste like espresso, but it, it it does have that bitterness adds to the creaminess and the sweet Tell of the honey bun. Again. It's so good. What's that? Goodness. Hell, maybe I am a broke boy. I like a budget breakfast. Y'all did that. All right, y'all did that. So let's let's do our ranking. Okay. We gotta rank them now, y'all. <sighs> All right, y'all. Um, so like I was saying, now we are gonna rank these from least best to best because yeah. none of them were bad. Not at all. <laughs> so um, let's start. I mean, let's just pull them back out. All right. So, uh, our least favorite. What did you? Uh, I think it ended up being Chico Stick. No. Hostess Cupcakes was our least favorite. Hostess, ho yeah, I, Hostess I forgot cupcake. about it. Least favorite. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so Hostess Cupcake will be in the Damn, sixth place. The sixth seed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Number six, Hostess Cupcakes. Yeah. Okay, so Hostess Cupcakes. Mm -hmm. We can just go right there. Yeah, All I right. forgot to do it with my hands. Um, Number five was Chico Stick. Chico's and six. I wanna da na na. Oh! Um. Number four would be that Bodega Counter Crunch. Yeah. Agreed. Wait. You really like that one. Oh, no, 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 no. I agree. I agree. Okay. I'm sorry. I agree. Bodega Counter Crunch. I do, I do really like it, but I, yes, for, for what we have here, yeah. Okay, so the bottom three, the bottom three of the six in order from least favorite to favorite goes host of cupcakes chico sticks bodega counter crunch uh -huh. okay now Number the top three. three the top three starting with the bottom three I mean, starting with the bottom three, <laughs> starting with number three. Yeah, starting with number three. Exactly. You know what I mean? So basically the bronze medal goes to if this were the Olympics, the New York Olympics, you know, um, the New York awards. Yeah. Stupid. Uh, y'all gonna get a gold Yankee hat. Um, <laughs> a gold Yankee hat. <laughs> if you win, you get a gold fitted. It has no brim on it. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to disrespect y'all like this. Um, okay. Sweet Tea and Lemonade is the third. Sweet Tea and Lemonade. The bronze. Sweet Tea and Lemonade. You get the uh, gold fitted cap, no brim. Boom. Boom. Okay. The next one was the bacon, egg, and cheese. 
No, it was the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Budget Breakfast. Budget Breakfast coming in at number two. Yeah. You get the silver medal. So you get um you get a silver pair of Yadas. Oh, not the Yadas. And then number one, in the number one seed coming at top, Bacon, Egg, and Cheese. Your boy. Bacon, it's your egg, boy. and Cheese. It's The Rock <laughs> coming in at number one. You get a bacon Look egg at your and cheese. Boy. Stupid. Stup oh, we don't like him. Oh, I'm not even recording. I wasn't even recording on my phone, y'all. I'm stupid. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, y'all. So y'all can see it now. Yeah. Okay. So the bottom three from least favorite to favorite. Host of Cupcakes, Chico Sticks, Bodega Counter Crunch. Although I would look at the counter pre-COVID. Then for the top three. Starting at the bottom, the bronze medal is going to go to I think I say it. the sweet pea and lemonade, <laughs> and then the budget breakfast, and then the number one, the bacon, egg, and cheese. Bacon, egg, and cheese, top flavor. And I just, I the just, the flavor really, you thought probably wasn't going to be the best flavor. It's the best flavor. I just, I just think it was the most, you know, the highly anticipated flavor, just because it's like, what? Like bacon, egg, and cheese. But no, I, and I think for that reason, it did live up to its name and lived up to the, to the standard, you know, to the height. Um, it's very light, but it still gives you every flavor that they're supposed to be. I think that uh, it's very creative. Oh, Whoever no made cream, this, man. yeah, egg yolk. Whoever came up like with the recipe, yes, yeah, for all for everything that goes into it, like beautiful. It was great. It was great. I it's love it. Be. All right. Shout out to Zamiro yet again. So, like I was saying, <laughs> after we finish deciding who goes to who, now we get to do our scratch off. Yeah. I'm gonna do my scratch off, y'all. Ain't no, ain't, no, ain't no gas station. Well, I guess them ain't no bodega, but for us, ain't no gas station on the scratch-off. Alright, so you want to hold the camera real quick? I'm going to go yeah. get us a coin to scratch this off with, and let's see what happens, bro. Keep your coins, y'all. They said it's a chain shortage. I don't know. I don't know. I don't got no coins, y'all. Look at that. Look at those little... Oh, look at those characters. Good job, Blake. Those look great. Did I find it? Oh, I got a quarter. Yeah, man. Alright, y'all. Scratch off time. Alright, so let's see. What we gonna win? Who y'all? I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous, y'all. Who y'all want? I'm gonna start in the middle because I don't even want to start on their faces. You know, it's black people. You can't start on people's faces. Oh, okay. Is that a is that a rule? I don't know. It's like how you know black people can't um eat their name on their birthday. You gotta save the name for last for no reason. No, why would why do we do that? <laughs> it's just cake. Half of the time, that don't even be the cake part. It just be the, what they call it, the fondant? Fondant. Why people be trying to make that fancy too, the fondant? Bitch, ain't it fondant? I don't think I won nothing. Damn. I don't know how this works, but let's see. Scratch three circles if you want a prize. One circle will contain a prize, the other two will cancel you on Twitter. Just kidding. Now let's <laughs> I was like, okay, what? So, so he didn't win nothing? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, we won Showtime. That's what I was thinking. Okay, yeah, we won Showtime. So I can't give away no ice cream, y'all, but we won Showtime. I mean, I guess I guess the point here is everyone's a winner, okay? <laughs> You're going to win something. You just, everyone probably isn't going to win that uh, free pack of ice cream. However... These Samir see this video. Y'all want to hook us up. Y'all want to partner. Y'all want to collab. Whatever. Because we really do. Like, we tasted all the flavors. They're great. We think y'all did an amazing job. This was good. But, yeah. I want to. I want somebody else to experience this. This is cool. Yeah, this was good. I want to get somebody I, this experience. I think I like this. I like this style of video where we just kind of sit here. Y'all see me been working. Try okay. some things. Try some new things. We some back. Put some backgrounds okay. and stuff for you guys while we eat some ice yeah. cream. And if you guys like this, we can try new stuff like yeah. this. Recently, we found out about this website called Gold Belly, where you can go on there and you can mm -hmm. basically order food from all over the United States. And we can just try different things from on there. So you guys go check out Gold Belly. We are not sponsored yeah. by Gold Belly. We're not sponsored by anybody. No. We spend our own money to show you guys these things because we want you guys to try them too. Yeah. It's so boring just living in your house and living in your state and not trying new things when this whole world has a lot of things for us to try. This is ghetto. And in this time where we can't really travel <laughs> safely, how about we just get some of those things yeah. sent to the house and try them out? That's what I was gonna say. And so, since we can't travel, we gonna bring whatever, wherever we wanna go to us since we can't travel. So 
on our next video. If you guys like this one, if you want to see more like this, maybe we'll try something off of Gold yeah. Belly. I'll put a link to Gold Belly down below so you can go in there and see some things. And then you can go maybe in the comments. Maybe y'all can tell us, yeah. yeah. I was about to say, and then you can go in the comments, suggest something. Maybe you see something down there you like, and then we'll yeah. try it out. And then we'll go from there because all of it looks really good to me. Don't, I'm just like, don't make me eat nothing nasty. I like a lot of stuff though. Don't none of it, don't, don't, don't <laughs> it look nasty to me, like especially in a dessert section. I'm a dessert fanatic, just like with this ice cream, y'all. If y'all see something in there y'all want me to try, I'm gonna buy it. I okay, but well, I want real food, I so spend you can't my just money. eat dessert. I can eat dessert. I can make my own food. I cook all the time. That's true. Y'all will know if y'all follow us on Instagram, at Cook and Cat. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, go like this video, go comment, <laughs> subscribe, show your friends, do all of those things, and then go check out Odd Fellows online, Odd Fellows NYC. They sell really good ice cream. Go check yeah. out Jesus and Miro. Yeah. Jesus, Miro, Showtime. You can check them out on Showtime. And then go follow our boy Blake. We're going to put him down below. He is the one who made our logo. The logo that you're going to see behind us right now. Blake made that logo. <laughs> yeah. Blake is awesome. We love him. He's one of our... We... We don't know him. We don't but know Blake personally. Him. <laughs> Blake is like one of our closest friends. So we've we feel, with, yeah, man. We've been working with Blake for quite a while now, and we don't know him personally, but we love him. He's the so guy. awesome, man. And shouts out to everybody, man. Shouts out to black people. Shouts out to black businesses. Support black businesses. Support black artists. Y'all have a safe year. Please, as much as possible. 2020 has been really weird. Be selfless. Think of other people. We love making videos. We love you guys, and we love each other. So check us out next time. Bye. Bye. Guys. So here are the six different flavors of ice cream. I'll let Kat tell you guys what the six flavors are because she okay, hasn't sorry. actually, she hasn't been here to really pull anything out of these boxes or anything yet. I've gotten to deal with them. I've been waiting, y'all. I didn't want to spoil it for myself or for y'all. Okay, so host of cupcakes. I'm assuming like hostess cupcakes, but <laughs> copyright. So host of cupcakes, uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Oh, fire. That sounds fire. I don't know. Budget breakfast. Okay. I mean, I'm not a broke boy, but we could try that. Um, sweet tea and lemonade. I don't really like sweet tea, y'all. I'm very Southern, but sweet tea is not my thing. So, I'm going to see how that one goes. That's essentially an Arnold Palmer. Chico sticks. What's the Chico stick like? Again? It's like a peanut butter. Like a peanut butter bread Yeah, kind of. Okay, okay. Um, and then bodega. Oh, blue. Bo <laughs> Bodega. <laughs> <An> idea. Bodega. <laughs> Bodega counter crunch. That sound nasty. It sounds like something that you find on the counter at the bodega. Like, Ooh. that you're not supposed to eat. Okay. I guess we'll see. <laughs> okay. 